new Aska A5 EVTOL actual flying car. Nothing, absolutely nothing, has fascinated the curiosity of the human mind like the thought of flying does. Modern age humanity is familiar with the feeling of flying, but that was not the case since the beginning. We humans attempted to fly, failed, and attempted again, and now Voyager 1 is the first human-made object that has even flown past the heliosphere. But before we start today's video, we would really appreciate it if you could just subscribe to our channel, plus charge, and hit the like button as well. Let's start with a small fact. So, according to the UN, many small island nations will be submerged by 2100 due to rising sea levels as a result of climate change. An electric vehicle can be a suitable alternative to mitigate vehicular emission that fuels climate change. Now, imagine the marriage of the above two ideas. The idea of flying cars which are sustainable and eco-friendly too. Isn't the idea too noble to work out? Do you approve of this marriage of EVs and flying cars? I think you should. So fasten your seatbelts because we're going car flying! The beginning of Aska. Now let's get a bit technical here. First, get to know the manufacturer of the A5 EVOTL. Aska, a Tesla-style retail store in Silicon Valley, was founded in 2018. If you're gonna go flying in the stratosphere, you gotta meet NASA, so in 2020, ASCA signed a five-year Space Act agreement with NASA to advance their participation in NASA's Advanced Air Mobility National Campaign. It's very important to know the vision of ASCA to understand its evil cars. The company marking this vision statement wants to enable people to move faster, safer, and greener with the comfort of door-to-door -door travel and improve their quality of life. While we're on the topic of vision, what's your vision? Let us know in the comment sections. Now let's open the door of an Aska A5 and let us fly like the eagle soaring in the sky. While we enjoy the flight, let's talk about this gorgeous piece of state-of-the-art engineering and cutting-edge technology that's enabled Aska A5 to fly like an eagle, powered by a renewable energy source. Don't you think there are too many good ideas, conceptions, and technology associated with this beautiful machine? Now let's talk engineering. Don't buckle under the esoteric use of engineering concepts. Your captain for this flight number, Aska A5, will keep things less turbulent. EVTOL Aska introduced the world's first drive and fly EVTOL. Before diving further into the technical specification of the A5, isn't the word E volt? Makes it curious. The word E in the word EVTOL stands for electric, and come on, no price for guessing here. But you will be rewarded with my gratitude if you decode VTOL. Run your brain horsepower. VTOL stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. Let's combine these concepts of electric and vertical takeoff and landing, and what do we get? Yes, we get EVTOL. Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing aircraft are re-engineered versions of vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that uses electric power to take off and land vertically. This ingenious technology is a product of major advances in electric propulsion, motors, batteries, fuel cells, electric controllers, and the growing demand for a new vehicle for urban air mobility. When do you think the engineering world flirted with the concept of EVTOL? The concept of EVTOL aircraft emerged in 2009 when a NASA video detailing the EVTOL concept went viral. Functionalities now let's come back to our dream car, Aska A5 EVTOL, the first fully functional prototype of the Aska EVTOL. It is the size of the SUC and the world's first four-seater electric vehicle that can travel by road and up to 250 miles by air on a single charge. Are you calculating the mileage? Gotcha, it's an electric vehicle. It needs electrons and not oils. Aska EVTOL is extremely practical, requiring only minimum updates to the current infrastructure. To perform a vertical takeoff or landing, the vehicle needs only a compact space such as a helipad or vertiport. Isn't this exciting? Are you planning to build a vertiport on your lawn? You should. The Aska Drive and Fly EVTOL vehicle also fits in existing parking spaces and can be charged at home or EV charging stations. The Aska A5 EVTOL is powered by a proprietary power system with lithium ion battery packs and a gasoline engine acting as an onboard range extender. This dual energy source allows a 250 mile flight range while significantly increasing power source reliability. 
In the drive mode, ASCA will have motor technology allowing all four wheels to be placed outside the fuselage. This feature delivers better aerodynamics and a maximized interior space that comfortably seats four passengers. Who are you planning to take away with you on this beautiful machine? In flying mode, the vehicle's wings with six rotors unfold, allowing the vehicle to either take off vertically or do conventional runway takeoffs. Let's take a moment before we get back to the video. Why don't you push the subscribe button further down so it turns gray? And while you're at it, leave us a like as well. The large wing is optimized for gliding smooth landing and efficient energy consumption, while each tilt rotor is utilized for vehicle control. This means that ASCA can take off in two ways, vertical takeoff and landing from a compact space like a helipad, the other is conventional runway takeoff and landing, which can improve the vehicle's energy consumption efficiency. Silicon Valley-based company ASCA was founded in 2018, but it's not just another company doing the catch-up in the EV industry. It is truly innovative. The Flight Aspect ASCA's ingenious product, A5, is the first in the world in its segment. That acronym illustrates that it's a vertical takeoff and landing EV, but A5 EVTOL can't be fully described as the truest electric vehicle. The vertical takeoff and landing vehicle has an airborne range of around 250 miles. Similar to its predecessor, ASCA A5 illustrates more property of an airplane built for the road than a car designed for the skies. What do you think about an airplane for the roads? As of now, the company has not unveiled the horsepower or other performance and engine specifications of the A5. ASCA claims that A5 would match an average SUV's size, have a competitive interior vis-a-vis -vis its peers, and will afford comfort to the passenger like the typical SUV. We still have to hold our breath to know the exact specification of other dimensions and features. Still, product introduction photos bring a very vibrant cockpit matching the typical Tesla style. Flying is the chief attraction of A5. The vehicle can take off vertically with the combined effect of its powerful six-tilt propellers. One question that must be quizzing your brain would be how A5 would take off. Well, just like the conventional airplane. Now let me blow your mind. When things really turn south, a parachute would be large enough to bring the entire vehicle safely and land it on the ground. Isn't this a new evolutionary era in the age of airbags? Flight testing will be initiated post A5 debut at CES 2023. Now let me tell you the final verdict on its launch. Are you excited about seeing, owning, and flying this flying car A5? Hold your breath, if all goes according to plan, buyers across America can own the miracle of a flying car in the form of an A5. The FAA has already accepted the concept and model for certification. But there is a catch. To own and fly this flying car, you'll need a license, and no, it's not a traditional driving license, but you would be required to have a pilot license. Pilot license to drive a car? The world has really come a long way, hasn't it? So when are you going to get a pilot's license to drive a car? The Propulsion System Now let's dive into the engineering of electric vehicle propulsion systems. Don't click the close button and it'll be fascinating. Electric vehicle-based cars don't need internal combustion engines to run. Rather, it's powered by an electric motor instead of a gas-powered engine. The electric motor gets its energy from a controller, which regulates the amount of power. The electric car uses energy stored in a rechargeable battery, which is recharged by common household electrical appliances. EVs obviously run and help in commuting without the emission of harmful greenhouse gases and also noise pollution. Power is converted from the DC battery to AC and the electric motor sends the signal to the controller, which adjusts the vehicle speed by changing the frequency of AC power from the inverter to the motor. The motor connects and turns the wheel through a cog. When the car decelerates, the motor becomes an alternator and produces power which is sent back to the battery. Two major parts of an EV are the stator and motor. An electric car motor works using a physical process and current is used to create a magnetic field at the fixed part of the machine's stator, whose displacement sets the rotating part called the rotor. The stator is static while the rotator rotates. In a motor, a stator uses energy to create a magnetic field that then turns the rotor. Now, this was an awesome flight of knowledge about ASCA A5 EVTOL, and I know how eager you are to drive and fly in one of those. So now, we'll be wrapping this video, guys. Before you leave, why not subscribe to the channel and smash that like button?